Stonehenge is one of the most iconic monuments in the world and the government wants to build a tunnel through the landscape of which it's the centrepiece. But what do specialists like the distinguished archaeologist Mike Parker Pearson think of this plan? I'm not in favour of the Stonehenge Tunnel, it's too short. It's not even three kilometres long and it's sitting within a World Heritage Site which is more than five kilometres across. And this World Heritage Site is full of prehistoric monuments, some of them the same date as Stonehenge, some of them older, some of them more recent. So this is actually a designation of an entire landscape. It's one of the few places, not just in Britain but in the world, where you can see a special sacred landscape develop over thousands of years. A landscape that is unique in world terms and really should be protected in perpetuity. The international agencies uh, of UNESCO and ICOMAS are extremely concerned. They have written to the British government and to the highways agency to explain their misgivings and those are precisely because they are failing to respect the significance of the wider notion of the World Heritage Site. Uh, Stonehenge itself will not be affected but it's the fact that it's this area of monuments and previous uh, prehistoric activity that is going to be severely compromised. Stonehenge is of course the most famous Neolithic stone circle in the world but around it are all sorts of other monuments. So long before Stonehenge was built there were hunter-gatherers living down by the river in a major and long-lived uh, settlement. We've then got Neolithic people building early monuments here, not just the, the burial mounds but also gathering sites with, surrounded by banks and ditches and then they construct other monuments that we call cursuses. We're not entirely sure what they are but these are great linear features in the landscape and then we have uh, Darrington Walls, the largest Neolithic settlement in Britain, quite probably where the builders of Stonehenge actually lived while they were constructing the monument. And uh, finally, after the age of Stonehenge, the entire landscape filled up with the best part of a thousand burial mounds that we call round barrows. So there's nowhere else where you can really see this concentration of monuments. And in fact, the western area that would be severely damaged between where the tunnel portal would be coming out and the edge of the World Heritage Site, we now know that there may be eight or nine Neolithic burial mounds in that area. And this is unprecedented. This is the densest distribution of such burial mounds from that period we've ever seen anywhere in Britain. The impact of the plans for the tunnel as, as they stand would involve the cutting of a transect across the entire World Heritage Site and it would effectively take out an area of up to 10 hectares of some of the most sensitive prehistoric remains in the world. What this, even though they will be excavated archaeologically, it will mean their total loss. No one will ever be able to go back to check what was excavated, to check the features, because they will have been entirely destroyed. In other words, it is simply surrendering a large tract of land which we really have the duty to preserve in perpetuity to hand on to future generations. But we are treating it as though it's just another necessary development. I think this will set a very bad precedent because this is not just Britain's major prehistoric World Heritage Site. This is one of the most famous World Heritage Sites in the world. And if we send a message that says we cannot be concerned about continuing its full preservation, that tells everybody else that we can afford to lose parts of all of our other World Heritage Sites. I think if, if we saw this development taking place, we will end up with a major constructional feature, a large earthwork, which will actually dwarf the prehistoric earthworks that make the Stonehenge landscape such a special place. What a shame that would be for the future if our contribution is merely to introduce 
a modern construction that makes the rest of it look insignificant.